What's, What's up, up everybody? everybody? <laughs> Welcome to the next episode. <laughs> okay. So. Well. Yeah, we're back again. We have a, a lot of fucking haters now. We have so many haters. This week has been crazy. Um, this is our item for the week. We're not going to talk about it yet, but. But look um, at it. But fucking stare at it. it. If you can recognize it, you're lit. No, um, nobody's gonna fucking recognize it because they're dumb. Yeah. Oh my god, I need to stop beefing with the fucking audience. But you know what? Fuck you guys. This week has been a week full of hate, stress, joy, and laughter, and <laughs> kicking. I guess. Okay. All of you guys have been on our asses. And yeah. also, not only on our asses, trying to get our asses by making other podcasts, which yeah, are fake. Okay. For anyone that doesn't go to our school, there are rival podcasts that are starting up because of ours. Two! Because of us. Two! two because two, two. Okay, do you want to talk about the movie? Let's talk about the movie. Okay, so, we okay. just watched a fucking movie and it was hella depressing. It was, we just, yeah, like we came to my house, watched this the movie Rosemary's Baby, which is such an insane Do you want to give them a little synopsis? 30 seconds, go. Yeah, so basically this woman, Rosemary, who's so lit, she's like such a joyous laughter, laughter person and she becomes pregnant and do I want to spoil it? That's a good point. Don't spoil I'm it. I'm not going to spoil it. But anyway, she, she becomes, gets fucking she gaslit. She gets pregnant and she's gaslit and like the craziest stuff happens to her. And by the end, it was so unbelievably depressing. Just say it's Satan's baby. I think, yeah, because that's how we went into it. Because that's how we went into it. Yeah, like she's giving birth to Satan's baby and it was so fucking insane. Um, the movie was too fucking long. <laughs> it was too fucking long. But the, fir- the last half hour the last was crazy. Insane. Dude, men are... Anyways, so that movie gave me trauma. Yeah, it, we so were like drained right after. But now we're here recording. But now we're here recording. So you better be fucking grateful because we're fucking tired. We're tired. Okay. Do you want to start out? Because you said you wanted to start off with something. Okay, I wanted to like show you my old host story DMs. Because this is fucking crazy. I saw my old DM and... <laughs> Actually, I can't show that. Really? That's so bad. Yeah, keep in mind, 160 something people are going to be watching. Okay, but that's like <laughs> not... Okay, 160... They don't exist. They don't exist. A number on a are. screen. Yeah. Um. Also, I oh, I would like to say apo- an apology because in last episode, I misgendered. And Some people... I, I yeah. misgendered. Yeah. And I apologize. Um. The thing about emo women, I love... The thing about emo people, I fucking love emos uh, severely. I just say that because I think it's, like, lit AF, like, to say emo. Yeah. Sure. Anyways. I guess we can... I don't want to... Okay, because if the haters are watching, I was going to say, like, let's talk about that story. Dick riding. They, okay, but nice podcast. Fuck you. Nice That's podcast. That's our new inside joke. You. That's our new inside joke. If you're watching, girl, nice podcast. Fuck you. Um... We also, then, <laughs> in the next coming week, get ready for the, the most crazy upgrade to this podcast ever. Why? Because of Katya. Ooh! Yeah, y'all are, not ready. Y'all are not ready. Like, it's going to be so lit. Okay. Um, we have notes. So, basically, what we do is, throughout the week, we think. We think and we write it down, and then we, like, come. We've been writing down our notes for three months, so we have, like, three months' worth of notes. Yeah. This is a really good one. What? I don't leave my apartment when there's a fire alarm. <laughs> Who the fuck does? <laughs> if you do, you're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> because there's been multiple times where I'm in this apartment. It's usually when I'm home alone and there'll be a fire alarm and I'm like, I cannot go. Are we supposed to? Is that like protocol? I don't know. Because it always turns out to be like something not real. Like it always turns out to be like an electrical thing or like a mm. false alarm or like... One time, it was that there was an intruder in the garage. <laughs> there was a fucking was fire so, alarm? Yeah, and it was fucking crazy. I And I just don't fucking leave my... I'm like, okay, you're gonna... I, that's too much of a burden. I'm not gonna do that. But they're doing it for your own safety. Like and also, fuck? usually, in, um, it's like when I'm... Really, it always happens when I'm in the worst mood ever. So I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so you would rather fun, die. Because it's not real. Like, okay... If the the way this is our generation's way of coping with existing is it's not fucking it's real. Not real. And if they really wanted me to leave for my fire because of fire, they need to go fire, 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 leave, 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 leave your apartment, you leave your apartment. There's a real fire, fire. <laughs> because it usually it's like a blaring alarm, and then some fucking like Five Nights at Freddy's voice man will go. Hello, hello, hello. Like that's not real. 
like, if you really, if it's a serious thing, tell me without sounding so fucking, like, authoritative. That means you just have a problem with the man. Yeah, talk to me like you're a distressed citizen, and then I'll care. Like, everybody leave the building in a line, in an orderly fashion line. No. And also, if there was a fire, my fucking elevator takes forever, and we'd all die. You're not supposed to take the elevator in a fucking fire, so stick the stairs. I'm, okay, and then the, then the entirety of the stairwell is gonna be overrun. I'm gonna be like Squidward from that one fucking episode, where he gets sat on on the fucking face. I need someone to do that to him. We are seven minutes into the episode, and this is already... Actually, it's not It's better seven than the, the first ten minutes of the last episode. We hate that fucking first also, episode. Also, yeah, the, the first episode was fucking crazy, because it was just, like... Us figuring it out. Dude, we have had, like... Okay. I don't know... Uh, what? I don't know if... I want to talk about the haters of can the I read? Session. Can I read yours, and then yeah. you switch with me? Okay, and then, and then whichever one we think is, like, really crazy. Okay, but I also have my depression shit in there too. Oh my god, so many. Did you read mine? What? Oh, I'm no. Really yeah, that. stop. Okay. Why does yours just say Kardashian? I don't know why I wrote Kardashian. No, I wrote instead of Kardashian. Kardashian. Instead of A, it's I. And I don't know why I wrote it. Oh my fucking god. Okay, so in his notes, he's just saying the worst fucking like thoughts ever. Justin Bieber is corny, but in an annoying way. Yeah, Justin Bieber is so fucking corny. Like he, do you remember when he posted babies, f- f- uh, uh, the upcoming to Yummy, which is oh yeah, the that's worst the song. fucking song. Can you sing it? Do you know it off the top of it's your head? Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> that's actually crazy. It's so fucked up, and he's so fucking corny in the most annoying way ever. Because it's because he found God. And oh, also, like, okay, he loves ta- shit talking about Selena. Right? Okay. Uh, let me let me fart, you in the face. Fart bomb gas leak story from our school. <laughs> That's a really good story. Get okay, we saved that. And then yeah, and then what's it called? But you know who? I, in that note, I said, but Drake is a good type of corny, because him like like posing like a girl like like within the heart is so good. Lit. Like he's so lit like that. But he doesn't make lit music. Fuck you. Honestly, fuck you. I could name you all of the Drake's albums and all the songs in consecutive order. If I wanted to. Anyways. How about if we had a conversation with them? Do you think they're, like, listening right now? Who? The fucking people. The people? The people on there. Um, I, sh- I don't care enough to ask about your day. D- what do you mean, ask them? They're not going to respond. <laughs> this is the kind of delusion I have in my room. You know when I'm recording my private stories? Oh, my goodness. What the fuck? Nothing. Oh, my. Don't worry. You know when I'm rec- oh. I didn't. I read all... Like, I read a good amount of them, But what I really liked was... Being unfuckable is a different type of pain. <laughs> no, okay. This is literally the way that I've been feeling recently is I, like, having no hoes is a crazy... Because my friend... Bleep? Sure, we'll decide. Okay. My friend... Yeah? Yeah. I think he, that's fine. No. No? Because I don't want his shit aired out. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, right. So he's he's gotten, like, a girl now. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, he literally went on Discord and was like... He was like, I, I don't know. He just went on Discord and found a girl. And I'm like, what the fuck? This should have been me. Like, Is she real in, in, like, in person? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, in Canada. Like, they're going to go meet. Damn, that's really good. And now I need it. I need it. I need it so bad. Yeah. And then I'm like, what the fuck is happening? And, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, I'm, like, the opposite of her. Like, recently I've been entering my hot era. Like, my acne's clearing up. Like, I'm getting bitches. That's you don't have no bitches. Oh my god. He's been actually he's been doing chat GBT. You have no fucking bitches. I can't you can't I don't wanna say that because of school. Like they're gonna suspend me. They're not gonna fucking suspend you. I've been Everybody using fucking chat use GBT. It. I actually can't even say because remember what I shared with you today, the craziest gatekeep ever? About like yeah. I can't like I can't, I don't wanna share that. That's why I've been using chat GBT for. And also, also, I have my fucking raps in here when I'm, when I'm in my rap for mood. And I'm like, oh my god, this is such a fire bar. Who won the Yas off? Troy Sivan, jo- Joey Graciffo, Tyler O'Brien. <laughs> Joey Graciffo. He was or my. He Connor was, Franta. Fuck him. Fuck them. Joey Graciffo. Joey Graciffo. I know. I was going to agree. Joey Graciffo did win the, the Yas off. He. I used to watch him play fucking Minecraft. He was my first. With Stacy? 
Yeah, yeah, with Stacy. Yeah, on Hunger Games. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Really? Yeah. Aww. We just had another connection moment. Dude, that's crazy. I think, yeah, out of the four, Joey Grisifa, if I had to rank who won the Yasa, Joey Grisifa, Troy Sivan, Tyler Oakley, and then Connor Franco. Isn't Troy Sivan, like, popular now? Yeah, he's famous. That's why I give him that, because, like, he won, he won being the gay. Yeah. Because he, <laughs> he, he, like, became a really famous person, and I'm not saying because he was gay, but he, like, he used that. He he, he was um, that one guy. Who's that one guy? The, the one in Bones and all. Do you know that movie? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking the guy with the peach. No. The fuck are you talking about? The guy, guy from Doom. Yeah, the guy from Doom. Yeah, don't Timothy know. Chalamet. Timothy. He was Timothy Chalamet before Tim- Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. How about if they look like iPad babies on our phones? I don't know. I'm on fucking Instagram Reels right now. I don't care. <laughs> Well, okay, why is logging into an account so old head? Because <laughs> you, you can use your fucking face. Thing. You just use your face. Like, it's I'm sorry, not... I'm scratching this shit. Yeah, dude, you're fucking with the viewers. Yes, last time when I was editing it, your thing was scratching <laughs> against your jacket and I had to cut some parts of your audio up. This is fine. I thought it was really funny. Um, but what's it called? Logging in so old head because now you just like log in once and then it saves it and you never have to do it again. And like, because recently. I know, but like old head in what way? Like, fuck, like I feel like old. early 20 times. I know, but like, is that a good thing? Like, I was actually like really against using face thing for a while. Really? Like, I was one of those bitches. I was like, oh, I don't want fucking the government to have my face. Dude, like, if the government has my face, I don't care. What, honestly, I, I have um, any this think, point where mm. I'm like, oh, privacy, like they could have every single piece of information about me and I couldn't care. What do, what do I have to hide? Like, nothing. Come on, get me. I don't fucking know. I don't trust them bitches. True, true, true. I don't trust I the government, but come on. I um, told you, I literally shifted my entire, like, world view or, like, goal so I can live in a fucking farm so mm. I don't have to be reliant on the government. Which Mr. K, like, supported, but now I'm fucking scared of Mr. K because of the nightmare I told you about, right? Did I tell you about yeah. it? Yeah. Um, the White Devil. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Are you sure? There's a couple of them. I know. There's a couple of White Devils. I'm talking about this one. <laughs> <laughs> the picture is so crazy. Okay. The White Devil gave me a nightmare. I had a yeah. nightmare about one of my teachers, and it was like... You better turn that photo off before they see it. I know if I show it, it was really hard for me to blur. There was a point where I, th- I had to blur one of her mouths, and I instead I just resorted to blurring the entire screen. So I <laughs> like, anyways, but well, I had a nightmare about one of my teachers, and if you're in any of my classes, you could probably figure out who. But it was like, cause this teacher talks to me every single time, like so, like condescending and like like strict, and it's like scary. And I had a crazy dream that like she like basically gave me a zero when I was freaking the fuck out and like I was like my life was ruined because I was like dude I'm not gonna be able to graduate. what do you think about mommy kinks do you think teachers promote that <laughs> I don't know I think <laughs> some teachers do actually I, I think um I'm gonna bleep this one out but <laughs> she gives me one she's my Aww, mama mama she mama is my- uh, yes I say like big sister, like she's like cool yeah. Yeah, she is really cool yeah. But I don't know. Maybe I'd say so in the sense of like they love Fuck. us. Maybe she just said that she loved all of us today. I don't trust her. I love her. I love her, but I don't trust her. I hate fucking actors. I'm sorry, George, but there's something so creepy about them. I get that because there's sometimes when I'm like around some actors of mine. I'm like you're fucking fake right now. I yeah. can see it. Yeah, I know exactly what I mean. And I get this. I have this fear that people think I'm like a fake person or a liar because you know who I'm thinking about. Um, the lying situation. The l- which one? What was what, you're a liar? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But also the the person who like really gets me the um, like the actor. What's his face? Like, the, the, like, he's, like, mm. a person who I always am, like, oh, you, Freaky. you're, and I, you're, like, scaring me because, like, I don't know if you're being real right now. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, it's fucked up. Um. Oh, excuse me. I just being. Yeah. Free the trans, man. Yeah. Also, a lot of y'all bitches homophobic and transphobic. What do you mean? On the fucking, like, I don't know, just a lot of people. Yeah. Generally, and I don't expect it. Like the guy at lunch today that was just like, oh, oh, yeah. oh look, you see that girl with her fucking lunch bag. Oh, oh what, God. what gender do you think she is? Dude, like, shut the fuck, fuck up. You. Oh my fucking god. And they're like grade fucking tens, dude. Like, 
I don't know. People do have such a, like, innate will to be so offensive to everything that isn't, like... Like, you're not in grade 7 anymore. You stop being fucking, like, like edgy. Like, I'm an edge lord. It's, like, so fucked up. Um, oh, this is a really good question. What? How do fuck... How the fuck do children know, like, play, like, games at the school? Like, how did they learn, like, Manhunt or Freeze Tag? Like, who is teaching these children? And, like... <laughs> there was, like, a school for like, that. Who... There's a do... higher up. I don't understand. There's always a higher up. It's fucking crazy. Like, do, do you know the game Elevator? Mm-hmm. How the fuck did they know that? Who taught them Elevator? I think people... Kids are just fucking creative, right? And they just do their stupid shit. It's, like, crazy. Or, like, Grounders. Like, how the fuck... Did, like, Grounders is, like, a widespread thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, though, it is a widespread thing. There's a fucking school where they teach shit. Like, it's... And, like, there's no way the kids are, like, using, like, the internet. Brain power. Uh, like, no, they, no, they one, don't. They I don't mean. have... They don't have the internet access. Because I'm talking about, like, grade one. Like, and what are they going to fucking do? Google it? Like, oh, what games to play on the playground? <laughs> like... Like, I don't remember ever coming up with games. Do you ever, like, being, like, the person who came up with a game and, like, told people to put to play? Yeah, but it would never be lit. Like, like I, if I ever came up with it, would it be, like, someone, one thing I've heard before and I, like, heard from, like, another person? Yeah, it's always word of mouth. Dude, that, that's, like, an actual phenomenon. How the fuck do people know? I fucking hated the game where, you know, the <laughs> stairs? Oh. It's okay. The G-Way stairs. The G-Way stairs. They would make put like a fox at the top of it, and they would be like, "One, two, three, fuck, fox!" Yeah. That that one scared the shit out of me every time. Did you ever go to Camp Portha? Yeah. Do Do you remember the game that we played where everyone was like, like it was like a hierarchy of animals? Yeah. That, that was, was the so most fucking fun. fun game I've, and we were literally in the forest. Yeah. So okay, basically we went to this camp for in our elementary. And what they was is they put all of the kids, and there's probably like 50, 60 kids. I think yeah, 60. It, yeah. And they put all of us in a fucking forest, and they like made it like a kilometer. I don't know. It was, what? It was like a big play space. It was right? like a really big play space. And we all had these little chains, like circle chains that we were on like a hoop. And um, you were, if you tagged somebody, you would get their thing. Yeah. And, and it worked at a, like a hierarchy. So at the top, there were carnivores, mm-hmm. and then like, um, no, it was omnivores, carnivores, herbivores, and then grass. So, I think, right? That's how I remember it. And then, um, do you remember what you were? I, I believe... I was a very slow person. Really? Yeah. I think I was a herbivore. Fuck you. It was so I fucking lit. I think I was lit. grass. Damn! I think I was grass. But yeah, if you were grass, you like... I don't... Like, the game must have been least less fun than if you were... No, but it was so fucking lit. Also... Kids are actual bullies. Because if there was a slow person playing tag, they would come at that person like and fuck, attack, and fuck them up. And then I would be the only, like, I would be the person tagging. I would be trying to run. And I'm like, guys, I, I fucking can't do this. Like, I'm actually slow. Yeah. Turns out I have arthritis. So they're just being able. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I was, I, yeah. So, yeah. Kids are fucking mean. Um, What's it called? There were a lot of people, like, after the first episode uploaded, they were like, oh, I can't watch the first, like, the first few minutes are so bad. And I was like, okay, you're, that's the worst part of the entire episode. Like, get past the first 10 minutes. Uh, this... Why are you telling them? If they're already here, then they fucking hear. Who knows? Maybe you're they're... here to stay. I Welcome. Think... We welcome you. I was thinking, I'm like, dude, there's going to be a massive drop off in the first and second episode. That's fine. I don't give a fuck. That's fine. That's fine. There you are so many people who thought we were, like, doing this for, like, money or, like, like fame. No, we're just here to have silly, goofy time because we're silly, goofy people. Like, and the world is silly. Like, not so many being, like, five or six. But, um, no, like, it's just for lit and fun. Dude, that fucking, that was the most lit game ever from Camp Cortha. And we played it once and it pissed me off. No, almost. you know, okay, have you ever, did you go to Sheldon, too? I don't know. Sheldon was the second camp when we were oh, in grade six. I didn't fucking go because I <sighs> fucking hated Camp Cortha so much because I had the most miserable time of my life. Why? But I did because I missed my parents and then I was and then you I think like I got bullied, mom? yeah, Aww. or something. Actually, that Camp Cortha had such interesting stories Why? because do you remember we couldn't leave our cabins at night? Yeah. There was I remember I was in a cabin and the cabin right beside us was having a, a literal party. <laughs> I'm not joking. There was like crazy lights flashing. And it was so loud. <laughs> and what happened was our cabin was like, dude, what is going on? So we opened the door and then I remember there was a cabin right like, um, like a directly ahead of like opposite from us. Mm-hmm. And it was probably like 
20, maybe like 30 feet away, right? And I remember it was people we I like was kind of friends with. And for some reason, I, I went to that cabin. Mm. And then what happened was they were like, dude, you can't leave our cabin now because the principal's coming. Like, you have to stay here. So what I did, and there was no beds available. So what I did was I... I slept under someone's bed. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, I swear on my life. I literally, sl- I went and I slept under someone's bed and I woke up, I remember I woke up in that morning and it, like, I don't know, like I felt like kind of lit actually. Like it was kind of good sleep. But it was so fucking insane. Like I ended up at the other couch and they're like, no, you can't, you can't go now. Like you have to stay here. Was there like, was it like a, t- I don't think any teachers were in the cabin. Oh, nobody, there, there was <laughs> nobody, no principal coming. Exactly, they just said that so the kids don't fucking go into the forest and get scared. Dude, fuck, that's so nice. That I wish I was a badass kid, you know, I wish I did some stupid ass shit when I was a kid. Dude, I, like, I just bullied some Korean girl. And I'm pretty sure. That sounds really racist. <laughs> I believe I believe her, but I'm pretty sure, like at least seventy five percent sure she was from North Korea. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. For me, I was like a motherfucking kid. Like I remember, I was always at yeah, the you office were a all the time. Kid. Do you know Gory actually remembers me because she w- she would always see me at the office. She went. <laughs> Gory did not go to. She yeah. said, "Yeah, she did." That's what she told me. She went to G Y. Liar, 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 pants on fire. No. Anyways, um, when we were at. Um, Sheldon, they played this game and it was literally like everybody go into the fucking forest and oh, it was capture the flag. But we got to control where the flags were hidden, and it one person put it in a fucking the middle of a marsh. So we all had like rain boots on and like shit, thankfully. And we were like trenching for this fucking flag, and it was the most fun I've ever had in my life, dude. Really, yeah, it was really fun, dude. Like, I wish like people like would actually go back to playing playground games. Yeah. Like, dude, if anybody, like, I swear on my life. I fucking hate these people that are school. They're so fake. Why would I want to play playground games with them? <laughs> okay, but if I played, like, Manhunt with a group of people, I would actually, like, I would, I'd be so like. Do I, people run? No, nobody wants to run anymore. Like, get up and run. <laughs> <laughs> would you run? If, yes. somebody, if somebody made a game like that? Yeah. I would fucking run the shit. I would, but, like, the thing is, is every single kid runs, like, mm-hmm. in the playground. Like, every single kid runs. But now, in, like, high school, it's, like, if you don't run, if you're not a jock. If you're not in, like, gym class past grade nine, you don't run. Yeah. <laughs> because they made running, like, unfucking fun Like, why are we running, like, um, in gym? Like, we should not be running in no, gym. I'm not running. Like, we should run and play game. Yeah, I'm not running. Gym, grade nine actually traumatized me. Grade nine gym was so lit because... Um, the gym, the girl's gym teacher, Mm -hmm. I had only, like, girlfriends, but girl dash friends, Mm -hmm. not girl, like, dating friends, right? And so I hated the male gym because, first of all, they make us, like, play basketball, like, run around, like, so boring. Oh, my God, and that's when all of, like, the sporty guys were here. You know, the basketball boys that left? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that would be crazy. And then I remember I'd always transfer to the girls' side, and the girls' gym teacher loved me, I think. But she always let me, and she would be like, yeah, just come in. And then the girls would be playing, like, fun games. Like what? I don't know. The girls are fucking crazy, too, especially with their fucking volleyball. (laughs) Like, when a girl sees a volleyball, actually, like, something in their blood chemistry changes, and they actually go feral. (laughs) I don't know what it is. It's crazy. Dude, every girl loves volleyball, but no shade to the men who love volleyball because it's lit. No, like, even, like, but the volleyball is literally where the coolest men are at. Yeah, that's actually so true. But maybe it's because I see Zoan and I'm like, oh my god, he made it cool. Yeah, true. Do you think we can mention him? I think so. In a compliment? Um... So, in my school, we're doing West Side Story, which is so lit. Great, great, great. Mm. I had to watch, obviously, the movie West Side Story. I'm sorry. Watching West Side Story is such a hard thing because the same soundtrack is played. And I would, I was listening, like, I would, um, I was watching the movie and the same exact soundtrack was being played that we would play it in class. And I would get, like, trauma. Like, I'd get, like, a PTC flashback where I'd be like, oh, my God. And it was so hard for me to watch it because I'm, like, in, like, I'm so tense and I'm like, please, please, I just need to get past this part. Um, and... What's it called? But that was a time where I really didn't like being in musical theater mm-hmm. because, like... You would just skip. I skipped And you were, like, being hunted by the teachers. Everybody in musical theater is being hunted. 
I know, it's every single person is on site. Well, I don't know, because, like, there are people who I feel like are never being on site. But I always hear, every single person I've talked to about, like, being on site have always, like, reciprocated. Yeah, like, every single day I'm on site. Mm-hmm. It's, fu- it's crazy to me. Um, but, yeah, that was so, like, I get, like, a PTC flashback. But now, to anyone in West Hester watching this, um, I love being in that class now. I love being in that class so much. Like, I actually look forward to it every day. Except for the days where I'm miserable, because all, the least thing I want to do is dance and sing what, and, like, act. Which teachers would be in the in the best blunt rotation? <laughs> the, the, okay, okay, okay. This is lit. This is such a lit question. <laughs> My teachers who I'd love to Can be, we like, say the teachers' name? We just name? have to say, like, Miss, like, first initial. Okay. Miss M. Um, yeah. Miss M... Do you have Do you have any? Because for me, I have to think. Mr. C. Mr. C. Mrs. C. Mr. C. Mr. M. Mrs. C. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I actually wouldn't think so because for me, I get the vibe that she oh yeah she get like anxious because she's never tried it yeah but like I see what you mean though I think she's like I don't know she gives like a nice vibe. But, like, a nice, crazy, anxious vibe. Mr. Know. S. The... The fucking guidance counselor? No. <laughs> no, no, no. The gym teacher. What? That's even crazier. What? Because he seems really lit. <laughs> um, yeah, I can, see, I can see that. Dude, it's hard. Okay. Nightmare Brunt rotation, Mrs. H. There are two... <laughs> The from the gym teacher she freaks me out. Even and even though like she was a clone of the sister. Yeah. She yeah. and the sister are clones. Literally, they are literally like like that. And yeah. and thing in the uh, the brother like that. Yeah, D- dude, that's their mother. That's their mother. Oh my goodness! I was talking to Maria. Mm. Hey Maria. Um, what's it called? And Maria, I, we were talking about somebody okay and she i was talking about the sister and she was she said something that like made me have like an epiphany mm. she, like the sister of, is the sister of the sister like they're sisters <laughs> that makes sense because <laughs> i also get the same vibe from olivia she dropped me because of a rumor <laughs> okay anyways they play boards of canada and nts Really? Yeah. When? When so when we were doing our NTS like um performance, uh-huh. I swear on my life when before we were starting like when the in the waiting like mm. right? I swear on my life they played uh, some boards of Canada song. It sounded exactly like a what a like an ambient boards of Canada song from the outside. That makes sense. I was like, "Whoa." I feel like I would have caught on though. You weren't there though. No, no, cuz it's at the the school. Like, oh, the NTS. School. Yes, 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 yes. Also, yeah, how's your journey in getting into Boards of Canada? I haven't tried. I literally, I think you recommended me songs and I did not fucking try. I also recommended you Young Lane. I, I actually did that. try that and I didn't like any of them. I'm really that's, sorry. That's... I'm really sorry. I think he's like too deep in a rabbit hole and I have to like start somewhere. Yeah. Do you like Blade? Oh my fucking God. I like a few Blade songs. You called me a bitch. A bitch. I never <laughs> called you a bitch. First of all. <laughs> <laughs> I never called you a bitch. Okay, continue. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, fuck, man. I can't even say my shit anymore. Okay, you call me a bitch. Bitch is a female dog. Dogs bark. <laughs> bark is off a tree. You need to tree is a mother nature. Mother nature is beautiful. So you call me beautiful. Bitch, fuck you. <laughs> you need to make like a tree in brown. <laughs> that doesn't fucking make sense. <laughs> you make me mad. You make me so fucking mad. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have to <sighs> explain the concept of time. <laughs> what the fuck are you gonna say to me, George? <laughs> what the fuck are you gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> what? Okay, okay. The one bad thing about wearing slave flat fashionable clothes is that when I'm shitting at the school in the, 
when I'm sitting at school in a stall, you can recognize it's the yeah. bottom pants. I always think that too. It's fucking crazy. Because I'm like, who the fuck is wearing this? Who the fuck is wearing this? Bright the yellow pants. Because it's kind of embarrassing to be shitting at school, no? Yeah. But I'm always like, I personally could not give a fuck. Like, I'm going to shit the fuck at school. I have not shit at school, ever. I always have to shit at school. Every, That's crazy. Every day that I shit, it's normally at school, and it's actually so fucking hard What period? Me. Usually period two. I told Damn. I told Morad, I go, I have a circadian rhythm for my shit cycle, and it's at, it's at period two. Yeah, exactly. You could actually train your shit cycle. And so mine has been that. trained for 8 a.m. That sucks. Why? Because you have to get up and, like, waste time shitting. No, because I'm already up. That's, like, perfect time. in between. That's, like, right after I wash my face. Because she's a freak and she wakes up at, like, 6 and, like, has a perfect sleep schedule. Okay, no, that's not true at all. (laughs) (laughs) But I'll take that. I'll take that. Mm. But, yeah, like, it's, like, embarrassing to be shitting at school. But I don't care. But I'm, like, oh, I don't want people knowing I shit at school. But, like, this Taking a shit when you're hungry feels so good. It feels so fucking good. Okay, but it... I shit that, like, is really big. <laughs> We're talking about poo-poo. Why okay. would you call it poo-poo? Because, like, caca doo doo Caca doo doo Okay, poo-poo. what's it called? Um, but what's, like, it's embarrassing to be shitting at school and, like, I, like, am scared because I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to walk out and they're going to look at me and be like, oh, my God, it's him. I the always... shitter. You're the shitter. <laughs> I'm the guy who shit at school. Okay. What do you say? Oh, when I shitting? I don't know. I've never, I've never like thought about that. What, what, what did I? Um, shitting when you're hungry. No, because like some, because you know I shit at eight a.m. So if I oh. don't eat breakfast before that, I'm shitting when I'm hungry, and then I'm like, oh my god, I feel so good. I look so good right now. I feel morning sk- skinny. I'm morning skinny. Like it's literally double morning skinny. Sorry okay, for don't trigger call me right now. trigger warning, trigger warning. Um. Hold on, my father's got me, so I turned it off. Okay, okay, okay. Pause. I'll Actually, pause. wait. Pause. Should I turn off my mic? I don't know if it's okay. Wait, yeah. Hey guys. Okay. Hey. Um. George just got a call. It was my dad. And, and my what did dad, the call say? My dad wants me. So my my dad's friend is coming down from Greece, mm-hmm. and he's a political. He's trying to become a political like person. And he wants me to record a political, like, video of him, like, speaking and, like, telling, being like, hello, Toronto, this is my, like, vow to, like, serve you guys. As mayor? I don't know. He didn't, like, explain. He was like, and we just need to upload to Facebook. (laughs) Okay. Oh. Sure. You're, like, known. Apparently. Um. It was really funny. I was dying before, (laughs) but now I've, like, lost my spark. I kind of talked about this when we were watching a movie. I can't fathom that some people live without knowing internet. Like, how did you not know Twitter or Instagram all your life? Like, They weren't mentally ill. (laughs) Literally. Like, for me, it's like, literally at the earliest age ever, I can remember YouTube. Like, I've known about YouTube since I was, like, five. Mm -hmm. Or, like, I knew, I figured out what Twitter was at, like, six. What was your first, oh, sorry. What was your first viral YouTube video that you've watched? Whoa. Like, I genuinely don't know if I can remember that. I can remember mine. Really? You go first. It's, you, you know the horses? Oh, uh, Charlie the Unicorn? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I, the fucking, like, oh, the horse, the horse. I don't think so. The hor- it's like dead horse and there's blooded. Horses, uh, blood. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm gonna Google Charlie Unicorn. Maybe if that's a Charlie. Was it like animated? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably Charlie the Unicorn. Yeah, it is. It's Charlie the Unicorn. Dude, I'm so lit. I think the first video, the first viral video I ever watched was uh, My Happy Tree Singing Friends or whatever. That was a show on Netflix. Yeah, but it was first like a YouTube series. Really? Yeah. Damn. And I think that might have been the first. Or it was Annoying Orange. Because I remember yeah. I was in grade one. And I don't know, this was, like, my crazy fan fiction fantasy. But I was watching Annoying Orange, and I was like, oh, my God, I wish me and my friends were in this. And I remember, I was like, I had, like, a, like, I had, like, a, um, like, a fantasy in my mind where me and my friends were, like, a, the Annoying Orange cast. That's actually really wholesome for yeah. the time. Do you remember when Annoying Orange met with Fred? 
That was yeah. that was shown on fucking television. Called Cartoon Network. I was watching yeah. that. I watched that in the grocery store, yeah. No, but it was Tobascus too. Really? They also did Tobascus. Tobascus. I love Tobascus. He's I don't, freaking R word. He's an R word, but so I'll get biscuit, I'll get in a biscuit, I'll get a biscuit, I'll get in a biscuit. We have decided our first guest. We can't say actually the first guest doesn't even know she, she's the first guest. Yeah. She's really lit though, and if any like if anyone who in real life is watching this, like You'll get it. Yeah, you'll be. They'll be. You'll like, but how about if they say no? No way. Knowing her, I don't think so. Um, Can I? Yeah. You know, people can't believe we're friends. Why? Because they they're like I don't see the dynamic. Between us. Yeah, uh-huh. and I'm like, what the fuck? Um, you're delusional. You're crazy. I genuinely. Have this never podcast isn't even happening. I don't know, like. I don't know how yeah. to fucking do it. You're trying to be um guy. Yeah, I'm trying to and be. That's guy. literally his name too. His name's fucking guy. I could stare. We should have a stare contest. Oh that's God. so interesting and such like interesting content. <laughs> my culture is not your aesthetic in brackets drug. I don't even fucking use drugs. But Today I that's we were doing up. a run through of um like West Side Story and like I guess I was super lit and when I came off this girl in our class like she was like. She told me, she's like, you looked really hot up there. And I was like, oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my goodness. And, then, and then I had three different people tell me. When we were in the car with my dad, my dad told me my acne's clearing up. And I was like, oh, my God. I know. Your acne is clearing up, though. That is oh hallelujah. It's because I'm taking the horse pills. Yeah. You should probably put it in water. If it's so, But, like, that sounds, like, that disgusting. Doesn't it doesn't really hurt. Uh, it's a really good story. Um, I was, I remember in grade two, so from like grade one to like five or the six. The grapefruit technique. You motherfucker. Because it's <laughs> so iconic. Okay, 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 continue. But in grade like two, I remember I was watching a Fine Bros video uh-huh. and they were reacting to Amanda Todd. Oh, mm. I was told we should do trigger warnings, which is really true. I, I did a trigger warning after. Maybe you want to put it after. Yeah, trigger warning, suicide. But we were, I was learning about Amanda Todd and um i was i had this crazy like i remember i i watched it and then i went to sleep that night and i woke up and i was i woke up and i was in panic because i was like dude i'm gonna like and like i don't know why i was convinced that somehow like suicide would like would be the death of me <laughs> like someone would commit suicide on you no, like, I would c- end up committing suicide. Like, I guess I, I don't know. I'm not, this sounds oh like Oh, my grade. God. I'm not. In grade one, George. In grade two. Grade two, George. But, yeah, I was like, oh, my God. Like, that was the first time I ever learned what suicide was and, like, like the concept of it. It seemed so easy back then, though. Like, it seemed like it happened to, like, like since she was, like, advertising, and I was like, oh, my God, this could literally happen to anybody and, like, want to kill. Did she actually die? Yeah, she did. They only had, you know, they had her trial recently. It's, like, really effed up. Her, they had her trial over the summer. Damn. This summer. Bitch, that happened in, like, 2011. Yeah. But her case was really crazy. Do you remember it? Um, bullying? It was, like, insane. I don't remember. She, like, switched schools, and then they continued bullying her. They said, you're not leaving. Oh, yeah. It was, it was like you don't get she, away that easy. Was it because she shared nudes? Yeah. Because she was on Omegle, and, like, she, like, showed her boob. And then and they, how? like, um... How'd they find out? Because the guy took a video, not a, uh, like a picture, and then he like spread it everywhere, and then it got back to her school. Damn. It's like fucked up. But I was like worried that like I would end up killing myself. I don't know why. Like it was fucking weird, and I like, I don't know. That's like the story. It's fucking crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. I don't think I knew about suicide until like maybe grade five or six. Grade six, probably. Really? Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. But that's probably because I was like, I want to fucking kill myself. That's like actually what I wanted to kill myself. Mm. Noel's gonna come up to me and he's gonna be like, oh, you wanted to kill yourself in grade six? That's crazy. That's crazy. <sighs> How are you enjoying it so far? <laughs> um. Oh my God. I have a lot of shit. I, I don't know why I let you read this. I didn't read, I don't remember most of it. That's good. TBH. If you had a child, what age would you give them a phone, car, allowance, TV, internet access, and social media? Nothing. I'll raise them in the woods. <laughs> I'm actually so serious. If I ever decide to give birth, it's because I'm raising, I'm starting an army. I'm starting a cult. Yeah. 
I'm I'm actually 100% serious. If anybody wants to start and join my cult, because I do have mystical powers, and this, I am narcissistic. That's your mystical power? What, being narcissistic? <laughs> yeah. You have bigger narcissism than anyone else, so you have, like, that power. Exactly. I'm, like, narcissistic without being, like, obnoxious. My power is that, like, my natural thoughts are funny to people because I'm, like, a freak or something, and they like laughing at me. That is narcissism. So you also aren't narcissistic. Ugh. Fuck. Um, I thought something was really uh, poetic when... Actually, this is, like, not... I have two poetic things that I want to say. When my... Oh, I have an ugly-ass cat. I just have ugly-ass shit on my phone. I pet babies. I pet babies. <laughs> I genuinely cannot get into sports. I don't know how people watch sports. Because, like, I don't understand how you have to, like, you have to start from the beginning. (laughs) Like, how are you so invested in something you just, like, did, right? And it's not even that for me. I'm like, what is the interest? I don't get it. Like, uh, one interest I can get is, like, being a community. Like, all rooting for a team. Like, it's like, oh. Yeah. But that's the only thing. I don't, I can never understand why people give a fuck about men running around. And, like, like, how the fuck do you know the players? Like, what is the lore? That's my thing, is I need lore. After yeah. FNAF, I've been fucking ruined. Like, like everything needs lore. Why the fuck do I give a shit about, like, Cristiano Ronaldo? Or, like, Messi? Even in grade six, like... Oh, my God, sorry. I tried getting into him back in grade six because, like, everybody at uh, our school was, like, obsessed with, like, soccer, right? And I was like, I don't fucking know these people. Like, even if it took me, like, it could have taken me, like, six years... To learn who Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo is. But I'm like, there's so much lore behind it. I personally have a preference over Messi. Because I think he has like a cooler name. And also Ronaldo looks like an NPC human. Like he looks like when you, if you click like a... Was he the one in the Gucci commercial, in the Gucci ad? Yeah. But to me, I'm like, dude, that bullshit where they were like Abdullah posted it. It was so funny. Don't fucking... (laughs) Dude, oh my god. We had, we had like so many people... (laughs) Fucking god. What was that? Oh my water. Is it spilling? No. Sp- spilling? No. Um what's it called? We had like like six, seven people, like eight people come up to us and be like, you please have us as a guest. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well like look, they now they and the same people who are like, can we have us on your guest? They're starting their own podcast. Fake as fuck. True, true. Okay, but f- actually, for real, like, having a podcast is not is kind of difficult. They don't need to know that. Let them suffer. They actually, yeah. Also, we're, like, n- we're like also doing it kind of jaggy, too, because we have, like, our little mics. We're, we're, we're working with it. I had to buy this. I bought this out of my own pocket for you guys, so. Yeah, actually, George has been spending a lot of money because I'm, I'm broke. For I don't mean, oh, look at the money. Look at the money is coming. <gasps> is that actually money? Yeah, that is your money. Did you see my dad, how he gave me just, like, money like that? I did not see that. Like I'm, I'm actually brainless. <laughs> I, I have not considered a thought in a long time. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like, I have not fully processed things, like, since, like, maybe grade six. Real. I'm gonna be great like nine. I was doing the I was studying for the chem what? lab in like the library and I was freaking out because I'm like, dude, I'm the stupidest human ever because I could not understand what the fuck I was doing. People are dumb. Everybody's stupid. If you're in a chemistry class and you're watching this, I hope you also fail just to make me like no I didn't know the kids in I front of us have nineties each individually. All all three of them. Different variations of nineties. As their overall. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> The three people in front of us? The three fucking people in front of us all have 90s. No, that's not real. I cannot believe it. Yeah, that's right. The that's girl right. behind us, like, the girl you said you're the top three, ten humans. Yeah. She fucked that fuck that shit up. And I was like, oh my god, thank goodness. Because no hate to her, she's so lit, but... But she's hella smart. And if you fucked up, then that's, that makes it, you feel it better. It made me feel better. I was like, thank goodness. She's actually the funniest people, like, ever. She is. Like, how, did, like, how are you constantly in troll mode? <laughs> always in the trolling spirit dude she was like in our um lab like the when we were doing it and she was being she was trolling the fuck out of our group mates like one guy was like oh should we like pick this up like should we like what should we do and she's like yeah go do that <laughs> yeah go do that for her pure enjoyment like and then i asked a question to our teacher mm-hmm. and she's like you don't know 
<laughs> like, you, like, why are you asking? <laughs> She's so, so funny. funny. Oh my god, I love her. Oh, we. I, my my own advice I was trying to give to myself, what? like from the first or second episode, was I tried to be less a bleep nation, because we were bleep nation so much last episode. Really? Yeah, we had like uh, we we had to bleep out like so many names. Okay, well your name's getting put put in, I guess. Anyways, there's this one kid in a school. And I always give him the death stare, but I don't mean to do it unintentionally. Like, we just lock eyes, and then, like, we're just like, holy fuck, what are we doing? And then it's, like, actually the most terrible, like, experience I'll ever have in my life. And it's, like, been, like, an inside joke between us because it always happens. But then every single time, like, I break eye contact, I'm like, fuck! Like, because it's, like, such a visceral, like, reaction. And I thought I had Tourette's. It happens every single time I see him. Are you guys in a class? No. Oh, that's crazy. And it, I literally, I googled yesterday, do I have Tourette's? <laughs> there was a girl at school who lied about having Tourette's. Why would you lie about that? Oh, that was a TikTok phenomenon. Yeah. I think I have a nervous tick. I think that's what it is. So if I, I wanted to clear my name. If I like, be like, oh my fucking God. There was a girl at school who, had, who lied about having Tourette's and she'd like fake it, I think. Why she? Like, and like, I, I, this oh. doesn't, this doesn't mean like bullying, like, because it just turned off. She, she had in grade 9 and 10 and it turned off. <laughs> I want to know. Who it was? Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you. Type it. Oh. <laughs> That's um, silly. Let's talk about our item. So this item, it's from a concert. And it's from the Machine Girl concert. The emo people concert. I don't give a fuck. It's emo people. Yeah. If you guys don't claim your fucking community, like... We are emo. We're not emo. How can you how can you call them emo and not like I consider myself emo in a way. I'm I think the better word We're is alternative. Alt. Alt, uh, yeah, alt. alternative. Yeah. I know, but I feel like TikTok ruined that because now alternative is like fucking Arctic monkeys. Alternative is that girl I just put down. That's not. She's real. different. She's different. I'm kidding. Sure. I'm kidding. She's different. I'm kidding. Um. Okay. Okay. But yeah. Okay. So we went to this Machine Girl concert. We invited like I think. We invited Ryan. Wait, Jayden. pause. Can I say something? Yeah. Doesn't it kind of look like they're like our mom giving us a bath? <laughs> Wait, I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Um, we invited like a good amount of people. Shh, they all couldn't come. So it was just me and George. It was just us two. And then we went to like McDonald's and we're chilling and we're talking. And then how did we meet them? Like, do you remember? Because I feel like you might remember. Okay, yeah. So we went to McDonald's and then I think they complimented us first. Or maybe you did. And I think they complimented us first. Yeah, because I think we were too nervous. We were like, should we should talk to them? Yeah. And then they were, and then I think it was. Um, Do we? I I'm, I'm not gonna say that. I think they wouldn't mind. They seem. To no, think. bro. We can't have this shit again. <laughs> like I can't do this. <laughs> okay, okay, we can't mention them. But you know who you are. Yeah. We love we you. We love you. I want to have them as a guest one day. Yeah. Um. But what's it called? Yeah, we met these two like lovely people. Um, and let me check the pronouns. Can you say the story? Okay, so basically, we were at the pro- we were at the McDonald's, and they were like, "Hey!" And we we're like, "What's up?" And then we were like, "Okay, let's be best friends and let's go to Machine Girl." And then we were talking about like George was talking about like his craziest d okay. word stories. She has. She's sure. She. Okay. okay. And the other one, it's blank. Okay. Yeah. Like so it was. A they and a she. But is that like condescending? What the fuck? <laughs> you don't say that. You're like, it's a they and a she. But I, I feel like I don't want to say... Okay, it's a okay. him and a her. Like, no one should say that. Okay, two people, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter, I guess. Anyways. Um, and they were so lit. And we walked toward the Machine Girl concert together. It was the fucking most lit time ever. They're so funny. And I'm telling you, if you're watching this, you are actually some of the funniest people I've ever fucking met in my life. Yeah. They're so YouTube lit. I'm so, so glad you funny. talked to us. Yeah. And then we stood in line, and the line was genuinely, like, a block long. Like, not, like, a whole street long. And it was, like, we were there for, like, an hour and a half. Yeah. And we snuck um, water in, in our hand sanitizer bottle. Yeah, and water. We, we snuck water in our hand sanitizer bottle. And then bottle. we also put it in our pants. Yeah. So it, because we thought, by the way, at the cemetery concert, they did touch me up. Like, they were like, oh, really? yeah, so I don't know why they didn't do that for Machine Girl. Oh, man. Maybe they trusted us. Thank goodness. Um, also, yeah. 
And then, so we were trying to drink water before we got in. And then, like, right... We we got too close to the front. So we, me and Layla had to go all the way to the back. And I did not want to go to, all the way to the back. Really? Yeah, but then I was like, you know what? For the friends. Yeah. So we went all the way to the back. And we met this guy who was really hot. So fucking hot. He was so hot. And he was like... He was, like, perfect look. He was so hot. Lit hairstyle. Like, so tall. We were making him giggle and chuckle. Yeah, we were, like... We were, like, just talking, like, between us. And he was laughing at, like... Not at us, but, like, with... He was like, oh, my God, they're funny. Um, And so, then, you asked him. You go, oh, are you going to the cemetery concert? He's like, yeah. I'm going to both nights. Anyways, we're talking so loudly. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. We get... We we meet up with um, our friends. We can say, yeah, Angie and Jay. By the way, Callum was hearing us like he heard us all the way from the front yeah that's what yeah yeah <laughs> we were so name? fucking left callum 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 <laughs> like, but yeah, he's not gonna fucking watch this mother effort anyways um but yeah this guy callum who is our friend the friend of a podcast dox him. until he starts his rival dox podcast. him dox him somebody like google his name right now on my fucking instagram okay anyways, anyways um and that's <laughs> sorry, sorry. and we had a friend at the front of the line and we were all the way at the back and it was a fucking street long line and he heard us all the way from the front and we were because so- we were the loudest motherfuckers ever but we were dying it was yeah. so funny um you and, can't take us anywhere anyways we got in hiding like hand, hand sanitizer in our water underwear. um and we got in the uh, that that place was so lit they had the opener lustic puppy which was the first time i've ever heard of her them amazing first time i ever heard of them and they were the most lit fucking artists ever turned up everything um and then we were with our friends it was the most lit time ever we moshed so hard but i drank so much water that i started cramping because this girl who i i despise she gave me this advice and she's like oh drink water fast so you feel more hydrated and um, instead of drinking it longer, and I did that, and I drank water so fast, I felt so hydrated, but then I started cramping. Ouch. And for so long of the concert, I couldn't dance. And Layla did not, like, you were going at it. I don't remember you, though. Like, I remember you from the beginning, and some parts in the middle, and at the end. But, mm-hmm. like, the rest of it, it was just, like, me and, like, other random people. Yeah. Some people started fucking making out in the middle of the fucking machine. no. <laughs> <laughs> so Some people started making out in the middle of the pit, and my favorite moment was when me and this guy, like he, he was looking around to see, be like, Do, does anybody see this fucking shit? And then I was like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? And that was the I wish I wish I talk to that person afterwards Dude. but i lost them because if you're in the pit you're gone yeah but we that night we met so many fucking people it was actually so awesome like we met a lot of friends mm-hmm. like the guy with the shirt there was this guy who had a shirt on and it was like a picture of mike from from better call Saul. yeah from better call Saul, not the other show yeah. and <laughs> then um it goes did he die in breaking bad or better call oh I guess we don't. Anyways, go go go. He did die in Breaking Bad. How could he die in Better Call Saul if he was in Breaking Bad? Oh, fucking stupid! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, go. What was his thing? It's like here. I have it on my Instagram. Which, by the way, is in, our, in the body. His name's Yvette. But I don't know if you'd want us mentioning him. So what? What's the deal, yo? Oh, the photo. I have the photo. It's I'll on my put, story. I'll put the photo of his yeah. shirt when she's sucking on your nuts and you're a gangster and it was so fucking funny. Um, and then we met like. The next time we saw him, he had another shirt called No Sex. Like, he just has, like, a crazy amount of, like... He's so lit like Okay, that. anyways, continue. Um, Machine Girl came on. They were so unbelievably lit. Actually, Machine Girl didn't come on. It was their alter ego. American, American Bo- Boy Band. Yeah, American Boy Band. And then at the end, the really hot guy from the line, I asked him out. And he's like, no, I have a girlfriend, and she's right here. <laughs> 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 but it was really funny. And then we, I bought this shirt. Oh, his girlfriend wasn't making him laugh? Yeah, his girlfriend wasn't making him laugh. You say yeah, he was being a little and slutty. And he followed me right after. Yeah, he's slutty. He followed me right really? after. Really? Do you have a photo of him? I want to remind myself of his gorgeousness. I know. I, I, let me see him. Why the Twitter fuck again. is your password so long? Because in grade, in grade 8, remember... Um, he fucking found out my password because he saw me do it. 
and it was like a normal like length path password and i was so fucking like i was like dude what you're a fucking fuck? freak i want let, let's like call him for a thing i genuinely don't know what his thing is thank you it's fine if you don't know Anyways, we met a bunch of people at Machine Girl, and it was so lit, and we saw Angie and Jay for the first time outside, well, for me, for the first time outside of that one moment where we met them at the Halloween rave. By the way, we don't do drugs. Oh, we. It's a, there's a rumor at our school that we do, like, hard drugs and that we go to parties every day of our life. I mean. Which, like, that's, so like, itchy. really funny to us. And it's solely because we post pictures of, like, Machine Girl concert and, like, a rave. Let like, us live. You don't leave don't, our house, we leave our house. Okay. Exactly. And we're, we leave our house and enter the world, and apparently we're like homeless freaks and like who don't have jobs. She's so pretty. I need big boobs. Like, I saw her, and I was like, dude, she like walks through the halls without a care in the world. Yeah. You know? You need this. I don't fucking use a bong anymore. <laughs> I haven't smoked weed in like seven days. I literally am on TikTok. Like, I'm on Reels. This is iPad baby. Like, oh, do you see me? I remember him. When you're telling me yeah, like a story, I'm like picking up my phone. I found him. Okay, but like, he's a fucking DJ. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my okay. God, he's so hot. Whatever. He was the uh, the third person ever I asked out. Oh well, I don't know if I. I don't. Anyways, he is so hot. He is. He's a DJ. He's literally what every alternative girl wants. Yeah. Oh my god. Five other people. I'm gonna find a fucking girlfriend. And beat her up. I'm gonna beat her up. Oh, he's so emo. I got a hat like that because of him. I saw him wearing a hat and I, I got it. He's actually so slay AF. He didn't know this, but I give him the best hat he's ever had in his life. <laughs> <laughs> we need to actually start doing head competitions. <laughs> like, I need to know, like, who's better. Yeah, like... But between us? Oh, between you. us? First of all, me. What the fuck? Like, I feel like I just had more experience. Yeah. yeah. Me, though, I literally <laughs> never... I, like, I'm just saying, like, I, he just didn't know it in the moment. Yeah, 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 for real. The reals. He missed out. He missed out on a lot. Um, but we got this shirt. There's another shirt. Oh, Callum, if you're watching this, you got the worst shirt possible. I have his shirt. He gave it to you? No, I have... That shirt. That's no, the but shirt it looks really I good on you. Yeah. <laughs> Probably just got, like, the bad he, I think his too. shirt just had, like, stains all over it. It just, like, it didn't, like, work. No. Oh. For context, Callum wants to start a rival podcast against ours. Yeah. And his influence is... Joe fucking Rogan. Joe Rogan. LSD monkey. LSD monkey brain. Let's see him. I'll watch it if he does LSD on camera. What good would come out of that? Like, <laughs> he'd make a lit podcast. That's what good would come out of it. There's nothing. This is what came out of my feed. That was the first like kind of ever porn that I've ever watched. Was Princess Peace Naked? At the time, like I used to watch Philip DeFranco a lot, and then he would be like, "The parents are pissed about Overwatch porn," and that's how I first found out about Overwatch. <laughs> Gee, the fuck, dude! I heard um, the dude. I heard someone talking crazy shit about him. Right. It was, um, I just want to figure I out. I don't trust them at all. I don't trust them either. I don't trust them at all. But the. Do you remember? <laughs> it was insane because they were in the library mm -hmm. and I was doing my chemistry and I like, I hope they're not watching this, but I heard like I could tell they were talking shit. So I, I took out an earbud and I was listening. And they were talking crazy shit about her. What did they say? I think this girl hates me now. Because all of her friends were the people that were mad at me. What am I going to do? I never knew her. But I, she's also the type to be like, I can never give a fuck. What? Wait. How would she know, though? Because they might have told her. My mom called, but it still kept the recording. <laughs> How do you have... Oh. 28 minutes. We have to wrap it up soon. It's I almost know. an hour. What the fuck? I don't know what age they are. I, don't, I think they're all 15. They, there is this person not 15. I thought they were 19 because one time they got me water. But then like... Oh yeah, they are 19 because they got everyone alky. Water. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was talking to Jay about eating a brownie. Mm -hmm. And they were like, well, how are we going to get it? And Jay and them are like BFFs. Yeah, so it would be like, oh... 
Duh. And I was like, why are you asking me how we're going to get a That's his vape, by the way. That's my fucking chapstick for my Accutane. He literally, he literally looks like... moisture out of every ounce of... You know what I got told? You were there. The girl who sits beside the troll girl behind us mm-hmm. told me that my fucking nails are going to start getting really <laughs> dry. I don't believe her. I asked um, De- uh, Celia. I don't think she'd care if I'm a chair. Um, I asked Celia, and she was like, <coughs> yeah, it's true. And, like, your nails are going to get more brittle. Dude, Just... okay, this is what happens when you're on Accutane. Your hair falls out, you start peeing blood, your skin becomes <laughs> really dry, your lips become so unbelievably dry they start hurting mm-hmm. your nails become brittle but like oh you God. have clear skin have clear you're skin. you're a normal person finally i have the dna in my dna that like allows me to have clear skin within two weeks of using it okay <laughs> for people it takes like six months not me though mm-hmm. me i'm gonna say that and then i'm gonna actually take like five years to eat. Like, yeah oh don't God. curse it on yourself okay i think it's time for Do I go first? I listed Oh, for sp- media? Yeah. I listed your Spotify link. Are you serious? Yeah. That's so adorable. And I also listed my thing. My fucking Amazon, or my Apple Music is Liz Stella. Really? Yeah. Why Stella? Be- do you know the name Liz Stella? Hold on. I need to show it. Fucking it's motherfucker. Here, while you look for that, I'll show you Liz Stella. Actually, while I, think... I, while I look for my media, oh, I can do my media one eye. All right, Broder Media of the week. It looks like fucking Apple. Does it look like fucking Apple? Like. Um. Okay. On my contacts list, I have. That's for the next episode. You're gonna have to read it like this because it's somewhere in my stomach. It's so low. I have seven. I have. I'll put it up on screen. Mm-hmm. But I have one hundred seventy-five thousand in the student loans, and I can't find a job. Voting for Bernie because Sandy Sanders is Trump's fault. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, she's yeah. Yeah. I love, and that's my that's my name, Liz Stella. She because. Anyways. Anyways, my my songs right now, I've been really into, um, what's his name? Young Thug. Really? Get back into Young Thug, people. Get back into your roots. Like, drop the Mac DeMarcos, drop everything, go back to your rap hip-hop roots, because, and don't, don't let the white people take that from you. Yeah. And his best album is Barter 6. Everything on it is good. And it's not Damn. bad. And then also Thai Boy Digital Beijing. T T D S T E. Um Screen Game, you wouldn't get it. I wouldn't get it. Yeah. Or is your movie movie for us it has to be Rosemary. It's Rosemary. I love Rosemary's it. baby was so lit. But it just the thing is the first hour is like unbelievably Watch lit. Fight Club. She's some crow. Okay, my media um I'd say Mm-hmm. Edge Flight, Rope Burn, and Boat by Solar Fields. I just want to give... I don't want to give this... Where it's from. Cause by the Mirror's Edge soundtrack. It's really good. It's really, really, really good soundtrack. Except you mother you effort... Know that, you know that old TikTok woman who did that black eye? No. You know the black eye and the old TikTok woman? I literally that? haven't been on TikTok in forever. She died. I literally don't know who you're talking about. It's a cute video. It's really good. Okay, um, the, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, Off the Wall, Rock With You, and Don't Stop Till You Get Enough by Michael Jackson is so good. Off the album, Off the Wall. It's such a good album, so lit. Um, I Got That Boom Boom by Britney Spears. You, are, you motherfuckers are unbelievably lucky I'm giving you this because this is her best song. And Britney Spears is a really good artist, so like, okay. Um... And then, <laughs> you know, <laughs> take a screenshot of this. I've never seen this lady in my life. Yes, she does. It's so so bad. I've <laughs> never fucking seen her. Um, <laughs> Lana Del Rey, the greatest. Um, and then, 
Bamehavai by I don't know how to say her name. So <laughs> I don't know how to read Greek like that. Whoa, that's crazy. Y'all just gonna have to post it on the Okay, the the album name it's from Sto Orieto. I'm literally Greek and I'm having trouble reading this. I'm I have to Pame Hawaii by the lady from the album Sto Oreoto Simio. Yeah. Those are my media. Oh, and well, then. Well, actually, Mr. <laughs> told me that Greek people are bad, so I don't know. He showed you that too? Yeah. Oh. So, in the word. Do we have to bleep that out? <laughs> in the words of Mr person from our school who tr- there was a person at our school who tried to show us why um turkish people are better than greek and people and if you know he's named after my plant did you name him after your plant no no he's he he's named after my plant's named after him and then i'll give you guys like a really good movie they aren't cultured Maybe i just feel bad like cultured. it's like i just feel so I bad because they're so like it's just like ah, i when i was so dry it's like oh like i wish i had this at my disposal um, no, no, you liar. Today we had the discussion that you don't listen to anything that people recommend. So what True. the fuck? They even know. We actually have been hanging out the entire day. <laughs> yeah, you know what I need to do? Oh, bleep that. You know when they are like hanging out too long and they start talking about like gee shit? Like, oh, yeah. the fucking car looks good. That's what I felt like a bit right now. We, b- we were talking about poop for 20 minutes. Um, the, my movie that I'm giving you is Jason X. It's a really, 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 really good movie. If you don't watch it, you're actually stupid. You actually are stupid. You, you, you're, you're stupid. Why are you bullying me? Because they're stupid. They're not watching the movie. Dumb, dumb, dumb asses. <laughs> That's it right now. Also, I'll put you onto this Instagram account called The Plain Midwest. Can you send me that? I fucking love that, yeah. They literally just go into abandoned buildings. How is he higher than me? Because I talk to him all the time. You don't talk about you him. You do. You don't sound fucking human. Motherfucker. I him on this thing. That is really good. He's raising sun shades. He is so, like, oh my goodness. He's dry. I was sending him to my glass thing every time we watch. I was like, he is dry on the, on the tent. Cat Valentine, we're talking about you. <laughs> I when blessing heard the name Cat Valentine, I loved and his he reaction. He loved it. He, that was a rec in, like, we were supposed to get. Guys, next week. He starts playing the tea. Yeah. This Guys, is literally, like, the conversation. Next week is our last episode between just me and Layla. Because then on the fourth episode, it's a guest. Also, I I'm too hot out. to hate today. Also, my fucking mic turned off, so we're going to use it. Goodbye. Have a great night because it's 10 p.m. for us. Oh, fucking God, I have to go home right now. <laughs> Says the government. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Bye.